Hello, everyone. So my project is estimating solar PV soil using a satellite-based remote sensing approach. Um, first and foremost, huge thanks to my advisors and collaborators. And so, so uh, solar PV soiling is the loss of PV module power output due to deposition of dust and particular matters in solar panels. Um, it's an important issue because every year, billion, billions of dollars are lost in the solar industry um, due to um, solar PV soiling. So, and the current monitoring technology has um, some limitations. The soil monitors are expensive. They're accompanied by maintenance and personnel, so they're not very ideal. So that's why we thought, can we use satellite products that are of very low cost um, for a soiling estimation? Um, the answer is yes. And this was made possible by a commercial co uh, satellite company called Planet that provides high frequency and high spatial resolution satellite products. So the main objective of this project is to provide primarily commercial users of utility scale solar projects with a simple low cost solutions to estimating um, solar PV soiling by directly processing satellite products. And um, we developed our method and tested our method on solar farm in India from 2017 September to 2020 April. Um, so how can soil loss be quantified by um, satellite Products. Well, how can soil loss be quantified in the first place? Well, the answer is through soiling ratio. And soiling, um, and soiling loss is just y minus soiling ratio. And soiling ratio is defined as the performance of the soiled PV device over the performance of a clean device. Um, based on some definitions and um, you know, plugging in some equations, we noticed that um, the estimation of soiling ratio really just boils down to three terms. And one of the term is uh, the solar radiant spectral profile, which can be easily estimated from um, um, atmospheric transmission models. So another term is spectral response curve, which is dependent on the PV materials, and it's very easy to obtain as well. So the only tricky term is this um, last term, which is a relative transmittance profile. So relative transmittance is defined as the transmittance of a soil device over a clean device, or equivalently, it is one minus surface reflectance of a soil device over one minus surface reflectance of a clean device. And this is where planet products come in. We use planet surface reflectance products to estimate the relative transmittance of a solar PV panels. So the way we do this is that we first extract PV panels from the images, and then it goes through two extra masks. The first one is to more precisely extract PV panels, and the second one is to filter out erroneous pixels. And if the left good pixels are more than 40% of the total panel pixels, then we calculated the average um, solar, panel pic uh, solar panel's surface reflectance. And one minus that is just the absolute transmittance for the solar PV panels. Well, we need one more step to calculate the trans relative transmittance. And the relative transmittance is defined as the absolute transmittance of a soil device over a clean device. In this study, we define the absolute transmittance of a clean device is the maximum absolute transmittance over the entire study period. And that way we get to calculate the relative transmittance. So, uh, well, there's one more step before we finally get to calculate our soiling ratio. And that is just to fit an empirical equation to the BGR relative transmittance values estimated from our planet products to obtain this full spectral relative transmittance profile. And now we got all three terms, we can calculate a soil loss. So in this study, the on average 5.4% loss is due to soiling for this specific solar farm in India. And our approach has some great advantages. And the biggest one is that it does not require actual solar production data from solar plants. Planets. This is huge because, um, you know, solar plants data are usually confidential. So in this way, we get to analyze any solar site we want, essentially, and it has great potential for commercialization. So our estimated 5.4% is also matches very well with 5.3% um, uh, from a previous publication. So very promising. So the next step would be to actually evaluate our method on uh, the ground truth filled collected uh, soiling data. And thank you for listening and thanks uh, Sloan Foundation for funding this project.